Anonymous here again. Wanted to talk a little bit about the center and how to kind of use it in general use, whether even it's just doing forms or sparring or anything like that. And uh, it's, it's something that really, really comes up a whole lot. If, if you've been in any type of martial arts training whatsoever, you've probably been told to sink, bend your knees, stay low, don't rise up, all of that kind of thing. Um, ad nauseum. So wanted to kind of talk a little bit about that. Um, now, the way we are kind of separating everything is, is at least the way I am right now, is based on the kind of Chinese method, which is uh, of basins, and there are three of them. So an upper basin is like what you're seeing here. It's just a kind of natural standing posture, okay? This is more than likely considered to be the posture that you're going to start out in. It's the posture prior to conflict if we're talking about a reality-based situation. And I say that in quotes because, um, well, anyway. <clears throat> so the idea that we go from this position, this position, or whatever. Now when you see straight up feet together like this, a lot of times in a form of any type of martial art, they, Sometimes it can indicate a military history because soldiers being all in line in regiment and standing at attention and then beginning their exercise. So that's one reason it kind of gets in there. Um, <clears throat> so that's one, that's the other thing. Now middle basin is where you're going to spend most of your time. Middle basin is in that ready stance. Now you can have different middle basins depending on what you're doing. If you're fighting or sparring, you're probably going to have it a little bit higher, right? It's because I want a little bit more mobility, okay? But notice, I'm not like this, okay? I'm down, my knees are reactive, I can go back and forth. My center is feeling like it's sinking, and I'm trying to keep it kind of right here, okay? And if I keep it right here, I can move backward or forward with relative ease in any direction, no matter what I want to do. Okay, now this is often likened to a spring, and it is, okay, but what you have to remember is that this is not, it's not a spring, it's a complex machine that is acting to forces sort of like a spring, and what that is, is your muscles being able to change the armature of your knees or your bones. So as I'm here, I need to be able to bend my knees to go up higher and lower here. If I want to issue energy down, whew, I can huh, sink into that strike. If I want to issue it up, whew, I can whew, push off the back leg, right? Boom, come up. If you see it um, in golf, right, you'll see this right here, they do it all up here, up in their high, you know, in what we would consider high basin or, or, or upper basin right here. But notice that they have to use lots of rotation, right? When you're up here, you need tons of rotation to get any type of, you know, power there. If we want good force coming down, we sink. But we want to be in here so that we can go to either place, right? The last part is lower basin, and that's where you get really low. This is often done mostly in training. But the more you train it and the better you get at it, going down this low, the lower you're going to be able to go in combat, and thus the more difficult you're going to be able to be able to handle. <laughs> if that, that low rambly there. Now, lower basin, if we just do from a regular standing position here, I've got my upper basin is right here. My middle basin would be about here. We we'll consider athletic, right? You know, like baseball, tennis, what have you. Right there. Lower basin would be down here. So drop stances, that kind of thing. Now, if we look at some of the stances in the Dulan for Shicho, we can see the rising and falling of the center. And this center, rising, falling, going back and forth, is the kind of core of the side strike and of pretty much every other strike, too, because it's how we get the the, the power behind it. Now, in most of the forms, you'll see me doing it 
where if I, well, here, if I go here and I come in here, like this, right, I stay at one level here. When we get up to here, we come up into Jedi, right, and we're at, we're in a upper basin position right here. The reason we're in an upper basin position, we want to practice sinking, stepping, and getting out, right? Now, some people do have an issue with coming up into a straight leg position um, <clears throat> because it's, 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 it's generally frowned upon by, by most traditional arts. So you'll see this a lot, like this, right? And that's, that's, okay, that's okay, but we, because of the movement of the center, and we'll get into that in just a second, right? It's actually a cho strike rather than a side strike. So if I want to finish my strike in middle base here, right, and I want it to be a side strike, what I'll have to do to practice that in the set, right, is from here, crouch down, come up, and come up back to here, okay? From behind, if I'm going this way, down, over, and up, okay? And the reason is, is because I want the feeling of this, right? Having that body behind there, right? <clears throat> um, being able, we talked about this, stretching the legs up like this is your basic, you know, power mechanics, right? Remember, when you're in the spring, this foot's going to straighten, right? You'll see this a lot, okay? Come up like this, okay? That can be done if you want a lot of power. Most of the time you're going to do that in cutting, right? When you don't have to worry about it. Because if I do this, right, and I start coming forward, I'm going to, I'm going to overcommit that way. So I don't want to do that. When I come up here and I bring this leg in, like that, that's better than this because I can bring, bring my center in together and I'm not going to fall over, right? But the way I'm doing it in most of the sets is like this, okay, this side, okay, where you see it dips down a little bit into the middle and it comes up to high. Okay. You can see this in other martial arts too. In a uh, Taiji sword, they do this a lot. When they come up like that. And that's the exact same type of, uh, type of idea. Where in reality, I'm just trying to do a nice sweeping slashing cut there and put some body behind it. Okay? So, going from one center to the other, remember, <clears throat> Stay here. This is where you want to be. Okay, so in my, in my any type of ready position, I want my knees bent, right? I don't want them overly coiled because that um, commits me to issuing, and I don't want them completely lax, right? Because either way is not reactive. What I want is a nice little balance in between so that. If I need to go up, I can go up. If I need to go forward, I can go forward. If I need to go back, I can go back. All of this there. If I grab somebody, I take them over, and I get them into this position here, and I'm ready to throw, boom! There's that throw right there, okay? I may be bent over here, boom! My legs and my center go up into upper basin. In order to get that throw, I gotta get underneath boom, and come up, right? So both are trained, sinking the center down, right? Starting from a standing position, getting into another position, any way you want, stepping back, stepping forward, our natural standing, into, into ready. And then the upper and lower basins are there to give us the, the extra motion that we need at either end of the spectrum, right? So when you're doing the set, make sure that you're getting those basins that you got them clear. They can be at any height. If 
this is your middle, that's fine. This is your upper, and this is your lower, so be it, right? <clears throat> okay, but make sure that they're clearly defined and that you can go between all three of them, right? Because that's really the, 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 the purpose of that kind of stuff. When you're doing it for real, it's probably not gonna look like that. You're not gonna have the up and down, the huge stuff, but you'll notice that the further you can go down, if you can go down just an inch more, you can dodge that strike, you can get underneath their guard, other targets will open up themselves to you, and you'll be more rooted and more mobile, <clears throat> okay? So there's a little, a little overview of where we want the center. We want it nice and low, rooted. We want to feel like we're connected to the ground, but we also want to feel like we can move through there. And we do that by keeping our legs reactive, right? Not too straight, not too bent, right? <clears throat> Okay, right here, so we can just we can just bounce on our knees, right, and get there. Okay, our deceleration when we go down low, so that if we're, if we're stopping, the lower we can go, the, the 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 quicker we can stop. So the low postures, the high postures. A lot of times, people are like, "What are those for?" This is what they're for. They're a mechanical exercise, not necessarily stuff that you're going to be using out of the box and inspiring and everything like that, but they open up your hips, they get your center to go down, to go around, all of that, and get, get control of your center is basically what it comes down to. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully that uh, helped a little bit with the, uh, with the set. Now this is just talking about practicing by yourself. When you're trying to replicate these types of things and how, how you do this, this is what you want to think about. Obviously, and this is why we, we accentuate this this kind of reactive, bent knee, athletic ready posture all the time to be our base posture from which we come, come from, right? It's because we need the ability to both absorb and emit that way, okay? So, just remember that. As you're going through the form, pay really close attention to your center and things should start making a little bit more sense, hopefully. Um, we'll probably go into a little bit of combat on this particular issue. I can show you some ways to do, to do that uh, in another video. So um, until then, have a great day. Uh, please like, sh like, share, and subscribe. Visit, visit us on Facebook, all, the, all of that. Have a great day. Happy savoring.